Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Catholic Mass at St. Henry Catholic Church in our Fireside Chapel. Today we celebrate the memorial of the Archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. My name is Father Charles Zock, and we'll begin with a hymn you will remember. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply echo back their joyous strain. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist, we call to mind that we are to stretch ourselves a little bit and recognize the angelic virtues and sing with the angels on high. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who dispose in marvelous order ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be, be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail, and there were no longer any place for them to go in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to earth, and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. For love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you shall dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The Responsorial Psalm. 
In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called you, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will praise you and praise the Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing the praise of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen. I say to you, you will see heavens opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Nathaniel was told because of his faith, you will see greater things than this. It calls to mind my mother, who decided it was time to go to L.A. to visit her favorite aunt. She had never flown before, so she was very anxious about it. She had broken her hip some time before, so she was using a walker. She made it to the plane with some effort, and as she was going down the aisle, her walker wouldn't fit down the aisle. My sister was accompanying her, and so the stewardess said, just step off to the side and let people be seated. So she did. And then after everyone was seated, the stewardess invited both of them into first class. <laughs> Mother had never flown, so she sat in a very comfortable chair, lots of room, and she looked out the window and started to take off, and she hung on. And when she ascended, she kept looking out the window. She had never observed the world quite like this before. As she got higher and higher, she saw, wow. And then it was time to serve a very nice meal. Linen, actual silverware, 
a nice cocktail. And after she was served and she looked at my sister Mary and she said, you know, flying's not so tough. <laughs> she came back from LA in coach. <laughs> Nathaniel was told and my mother began to understand what a stretch it is to see the world from another perspective. You will see greater things than this. And all of us are continuing to observe that in our lifetime if we have ears to hear and eyes to see. We look to the angels to guide us, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael today. Michael is the patron of protection. Protection for the church and for each of us. Gabriel, who is the messenger, making sure the good news is being spread to all. And Raphael, the healing, guiding nature of God. We're to take a stretch and not be stuck at ground level. Take a look at the angels, how they guide us, and how we are in turn to be protectors and messengers and healers in our own right. And we are to be like the angels, to picture ourselves before the throne of God with the archangels Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, and our own guardian angels. Picture the sheer beauty and the overwhelming goodness of God. Let the vision of God's presence give us a new perspective. Let us stretch our faith a bit. You haven't seen anything yet. There's a lot more to me than you think, Jesus says. You will see greater things than this. So we pray today that the Lord will help us see greater things. And we say in return, I want to share your perspective. Let us stand and make these petitions to our Heavenly Father. We pray through the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel to be with all of those first responders, with our police and with our military. May they be safe as they protect. We pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray for all of those who announce the good news. We pray for all ministers of the gospel. We pray for all of those, yes, even in broadcast journalism and in the many other means by which we communicate. May Gabriel, the archangel, guide those steps, we pray to the Lord. Lord. And we pray through the intercession of St. Raphael for all of those who are in the healing ministries, for all of those who reach out to help those who are ill in body, mind, and spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord. And we add our own intentions in the silence of our heart. And we make all of these our prayers confidently through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God, 
Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice by the hands of the Lord, and the praise of the Lord be for our good and the Holy Church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so may you may receive them favorably and make them profitable to our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and Alexander and Peter our bishops, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, 
we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them into the, to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with the archangels Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us share a sign of peace. May this mentally of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your archangels Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Angels from the realm of glory, wing your flight o'er all the earth. You who sang creation's story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn. Evermore your voice is raising to the 